Well, yeah, and, and uh, clearly in his particular case, uh, getting involved in all of this is, is not so wise. But I understand why he's fighting here. Uh, this is kind of his career. And this is a guy, we all recall, when the Yankees uh, signed him, they believed he was on his way to 800-plus home runs. He was going to be the uh, all-time home run guy. He was getting paid uh, kind of on spec. And, and I have to believe he bought into that. Like you said, all the people around him would have said the same thing. Um, a, do you think he still has that belief? And B, uh, if he does spend the year off, and it looks like he will, do you, do you expect when he comes back he'll be anything close to what he was uh, when he was in his heyday? Well, you know, they, they paid him a, a 10-year contract for that much money, a quarter of a billion dollars, um, that carried him through the age of 42. And, and I think that um, athletes, uh, baseball players in particular, there were studies when Barry Bonds was was in his prime that uh, performance really drops off between the ages of 39 and you know early 40s through 44. But that was skewed because of the presence of PEDs, and and so those numbers were skewed. So if Alex Rodriguez is off the juice and and comes back at the age of 39, which he'd be close to 40 by the time he came back. Um, I think that his performance will drop off. And the other thing, the other factor to take into consideration is that by including the MLB Players Association in his lawsuit, which is moving forward right now, right. he really has alienated everybody. His only <laughs> friends left in the world. And that was the union that stood by his side during the arbitration hearing with Frederick Horowitz. And now his fellow players, uh, you know, many of whom disliked him in the first place. Do you think he has any validity at all in all of this that you sifted through before you wrote about it? I, I think that he's made mistake after mistake. You know, the first mistake would have been in refusing the original suspension uh, that Major League Baseball offered, which was would have been similar or, or more than, slightly more than Ryan Braun got because of his attempts to obstruct the investigation. Um, he was so confident and arrogant that that baseball didn't have a case. He was being told that by his enablers, um, that he felt he could beat them in an arbitration hearing. And when that didn't happen, he's now gotten himself deeper and deeper. Um, I, I think that his biggest mistake was his first mistake, which is not accepting uh, baseball's original offer uh, for his involvement with the Biogenesis Group.